put our Pittsburgh Steeler to work. RC, you like the pick of quarterback Malik Willis there. I do, and I also kind of think that Malik Willis is the only guy that fits here. I feel like this is the only guy that fits here. <laughs> In the notes app. Pittsburgh. <laughs> I hope you get this kid. Oh, my God, I They're hope you get him. Oh, my now. gosh. I hope. With the 20th pick. In the 2022 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Kenny Pickett. No way. We do not care. No way. Steelers, I can't believe it, dude. The Steelers actually took Kenny Pickett. I... I honestly thought they'd take Willis, honestly. Oh, everybody thought it was going to be Malik Willis. You know, he had all the traits, he had all the measurables. You know, he had the mobility, the arm strength. He was the perfect prototypical NFL prospect. And it didn't matter. The Steelers took Kenny Pickett. That's crazy. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm watching it right now. Uh, wow, Kenny Pickett, you know. Great quarterback at Pitt, uh, developed into an amazing prospect, you know, played six years in the program, developed into a guy who's probably the most NFL-ready quarterback that they have in the draft. Um, you know, don't sell his physical attributes short either. He can make pretty much every throw. Uh, he can get out of the pocket. Obviously, we saw the fake slide at the ACC championship game. Um, obviously, it's... A perfect story with him returning to Pittsburgh. Um, who would have expected it? You know, I honestly thought the Steelers would take Willis. I mean, there are all the stories about the Steelers quartering him, um, Mike Tomlin eating chicken wings with him, um, Tomlin and Colbert going to his pro day. You know, all the signs were there. You know, Steelers were going to take Willis, but I think it's a good pick. I mean, I think Pickett is definitely the most NFL-ready quarterback. There are a lot of similarities of this pick to Mac Jones and the Patriots last year, how the Patriots didn't pick him based off potential to grow. They saw what he was at that moment, and that's what they went with, a guy who's already ready and more groomed to start in the NFL, because Willis was going to need at least a year or two to develop. Pickett can come in, compete with Mitch Trubisky right away, you know, give him competition, maybe even start week one. You never know. So I think Kenny Pickett is a good pick. I thought the Steelers were going to go with the quarterback. Honestly, I think you can't go wrong with Pickett or Willis, but I understand why they chose Pickett because they want to bridge that gap and they want to contend. And Kenny Pickett is the type of quarterback that gives them a chance to contend right away. Um, I would have been happy if they took an offensive lineman, if they took a corner, because you know, both those positions are really positions of need, but in the NFL today, you need a quarterback. There is no more important position than the quarterback. It really is a quarterback's league, and with Kenny Pickett, I have a feeling he's going to be great. I mean, people were down on him because of the small hands, I mean, that he should retire from football because he can't grip a football. Like, that's how, look how that worked out for Joe Burrow and his tiny nine inch hands. I wonder what that became. I wonder what became of that guy. Um, but yeah, Kenny Pickett. Pretty cool. Gets to return to Pittsburgh. Uh, obviously, knows the city, knows the stadium. <laughs> um, yeah, I really thought that we would take an offensive tackle or take a corner or take Malik Willis. I had no idea that we'd take Kenny Pickett. Yeah, and keep in mind, he's an older prospect, too. He's 24 years old. You know, he's not a young prospect in by any means, especially in today's game. Uh, wow. That's crazy. All right, so... What does this mean for the Steelers tomorrow, day two? So they have the second and the third round pick. I definitely think they'll go corner with one of those picks. 
because if you look at our areas of depth, corner is definitely our weakest spot. And we have Akello Witherspoon, we have Steve Nelson, we have a couple other guys who've contributed marginally, you know, Trey Norwood, um, Arthur Mollett, um, but we don't have that true number one guy anymore. And we're probably not going to have Joe Hayden. I think we need that number one corner or a guy who can at least grow into that to really complete that unit because the cornerback is also one of the more important positions in the league, especially with how teams like to air it out. Uh, I don't think we'll go offensive line early. Um, we're usually pretty good at finding later round finds. I think we'll probably wait until third or fourth round to do that. Uh, wide receiver is also a pretty big priority, uh, especially you know, losing Juju. Um, you know, we really only have Claypool and Johnson who are big threats, and we've been really good in finding wide receivers in the second and third round. So I think wide receiver and corner will be the picks tomorrow. But for now, it's Kenny Pickett. Oh, pretty crazy. I 